So longtime resident of Lahaina, and we're looking at almost a year mm -hmm. since the devastation. Um, can you tell me, you know, where we're at right now and kind of what you foresee happening in the future and how it's affected you? Yeah, so right now, I mean, if you drive through Lahaina, you see that a lot of the properties have been cleared and, and you know, so all of the debris are gone and they put um, erosion control down. So it, it looks, it doesn't look as bad. As you want to mention it's not open though. Yeah. So yeah. you can't drive through. You cannot. But some special no. people yeah. can. No, yeah, so when you're driving on the highway, you can see the residential areas. You can't really go into Front Street or, you know, you can't look at the Banyan Tree. You can't go down in the Baldwin House, the harbor. Everything's everything's gone, Pioneer Inn. Um, we just did a tour yesterday, mm. and everything is still not, you can't go back right now. Um, and it's going to be a while before you can go back to Lahaina, but there's a lot of things to do in Kanapali. Um You don't have to go into Lahaina to get the experience that you have in, in Lahaina. Um, that's just one aspect, but you know, all the hotels are, are stepping up there. There are things they're doing a lot of different things at the hotels with craft fairs, and you know, so they're bringing the merchants out to Kanapali and Napili and Honokawai. So there's a lot of different things. You know, restaurants have moved and you know, have new areas. Mm -hmm. So there's just one section that's closed, yeah, one section, but yeah. but we're opening. How did it affect you? Um, in the beginning, so we lost our, our home. Um, we have 56 immediate family members so my father-in-law um, he has five daughters and then all the husbands and wives there's 56 who lost their house it was a uh, 13 households with either owned houses or rentals but um, so it was, it was it was really hard it was really hard to deal with that and the loss and everything you know pictures and you know everything was gone so um, we're coming back and in the beginning, I was like, "Yeah, we're not ready for we're not ready for tourists, not at all." And then um, this is when we're just about to open up, and I was talking to one of my bellmen, and he said, "You know, I can't wait to come back. I really want to come." And and then I, I thought about it. And I'm like, "You know, we're getting all of this assistance. We're getting stuff from FEMA, and we're getting Red Cross, and churches are giving it us, and we're getting gift cards." But the guys who are not even affected. They live on the other side of the island. This is their, this is their, this is where they make their money, and they're, they're not working. They're not getting help. They're not getting anything, and so they're really struggling. And that's when it kind of hit me. It's like you know, that's it's kind of being selfish of of me to say because because I'm hurting. Nobody should. You know, nobody. There was a lot of in the beginning. You know, why can't somebody have fun when I'm not mm. having fun? And mm -hmm. that's. I think that that has changed. Um, a lot of people have changed their mind, and they really enjoy. You know, that that's our livelihood. That's what we do, and we share our culture. And um, I've the, noticed everyone seems really grateful. Yeah, you know, you they want to encourage um, the restoration efforts and supporting yeah. the economy. Yeah. So the we, I mean, I would say they're welcome. The tourists are welcome back. Everybody. It, there's a few people who might not be um, happy about it, but overall majority of, of our Kama'ina really enjoy when the, the guests are here and, and sharing the stories and, and telling them. And then a lot of it is to keeping us in the forefront. If no one's here, no one's visiting, no one's seeing, we're not going to get the help that we still need because um, there's so many of us who are underinsured and we're not going to have the money to rebuild. and unless we get assistance and um it's 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 a sad state where you can't control your future but there's hope are there ways to support and donate there there's a lot of different nonprofits who are, are donating and helping and um you just got to fight the right one and, and where where your where your heart where your ek is wants to give and um where you want to help you know i'm trying to find uh a way to get everybody's surveys for their land to start their rebuild they got to get their land surveyed to before they can or they got to give it to their architect so i'm trying to find um some way to pay somebody's done them already and we just got to pay for it so if we can get instead of us um property owners trying to go in um get a surveyor and, and you do it ourselves if we can just do it one time and so there's there's things like that where you know from 
um, I, like we don't need clothes or you know, everybody's pretty much it's been a, almost a year so but trying to rebuild now and that's the focus so in the beginning was everything yeah it was mm -hmm. just you didn't know where to you needed a, a new shirt and a new <laughs> and then and then oh I, I moved out of the hotel so now I need plates and and things like that or beds and and now it's just basically we got to try to rebuild and how we're going to do that so it's just phases, I guess. Yeah. It'll be many years. I was, I grew up on Kauai, uh -huh. so I lived through Eva and uh -huh. Iniki, and I think Iniki took seven years. Yeah. So, you know, yeah. obviously it's going to be quite a while. Yeah. Well, I didn't think you would, you're old enough for Eva. <laughs> I was little. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, well, thank you so much for sharing oh, your you're story welcome. and you're also welcome. your knowledge and your mana'o, and yeah. you know, hopefully you, you know, get just, the word out. Yeah, no, and that's, that's, we just left and we're talking with my valet crew and they're like, oh, is it getting busier? And I said, no, nah, nah, not really. And then, well, oh, what's the, you know, we're talking about weather patterns and um, the Caribbean being a little stronger in, in their mm. hurricane season and, and ours being a little weak, so maybe people can come over. And then one of the guys said, you know, no, nah, we just got to let the, our visitors know that they're welcome back. And, yeah. and that's, you know, so that's a sentiment from everybody. And, and he's somebody who, um, lost his, his his property also so mm -hmm. it's not it's not um just the people in the tourist is industry that want the guests to come back because they're selfish it's it's understanding that even you know restaurants on the other side that do mostly local are still not busy because we're not there because we're not getting the income to so it, it's affecting the whole island it's not just affecting yeah. you know lahaina or um, the people who who lost their their homes or their, you know their, their town is affecting the everyone. In fact, the state because mm -hmm. um, it's still Lahaina is still one of the special places that people come in and visit, right? Yeah.